Hi everyone, I want to show you how to um, set up different types of notation in Sibelius. I am just going to open a new document here and I am going to change the instruments and I'm going to add for our purposes a guitar and in Sibelius you have to say jazz guitar because there is no other type of guitar. And you want piano and you want acoustic bass spell it right acoustic bass and you want notation not tablature and you want drum set and you can pick uh, whatever you want for the style of music you're using I'll do jazz and then over here on the right you want to make sure that everything's in order you're gonna put jazz guitar and then highlight the two piano staffs you do that by uh, clicking on the top one and then shift will um, let you select the second one and then you can say OK. And you're going to see this over here. I'm going to say this is 4-4. Four, four. Excuse my puppy. And um, I'm going to put it in the tempo, medium swing. Uh, and I'm going to give it a key. I'm just going to say it's an F. And I'm just going to give it a title. I'll just say F Blues um, Rhythm Section Demo. OK. And I'm just going to say create, and that's going to give me this uh, beautiful looking score um, for uh, our blues. And I'm just going to add um, some more uh, measures. There are five here. I just want to do a chorus. So I'm going to hit Command B, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that gives me 12 uh, measures uh, of the blues. And now I'm just going to start creating um, the blues. I'm going to switch this. Uh, for some reason, my bass is above my, uh, below my uh, drum set. I'll put that there. Hit OK. And now everything's in the right order. A uh, couple things in Sibelius. To create um, slash notation, the first thing you do is come down to your handy dandy keypad down here and hit the quarter note. Um, and it gives you a quarter note here and you can hit four of them in a row by hitting the R key create four if one's highlighted and then you're just going to hit shift option three and that creates a slash and then you're going to have those highlighted and you can just hit R to repeat anything in Sibelius you hit the letter R if you have one of them done uh, highlighted it will uh, copy one of them if you select two of them with the command key, you can hit that and it will do two of them. Or you can select the whole bar and you can just repeat the whole bar. And look at that. Now we have 12 bars of the blues. Um, layout is uh, a little wonky right now, but we'll deal with that later. Now, to move that over to the piano part, it's very easy. You just select the first bar of the guitar. In the last bar of the guitar, hit shift and then click in the last bar and it turns blue and then you just hit the option key and click where you want to move this and now it's in the piano part. Do the same thing to the bass part and the same thing to the drum part. Now you have four staves of slashes. Now rhythmic notation is, from there you can add rhythmic notation uh, to a part. So let's say we want to just create a basic Charleston rhythm in the in the uh, let's say in the piano part so the first thing we do is we select our quarter note and we make it a dotted quarter note and we just go here and do this and then we can add the eighth note and we can tie it over with the tie and then we can go to our half note and drop our half note in there whoops just move that down with the arrow so now we hit escape to not have this be blue anymore and we highlight that measure and now look what we can do we can just hit r and now i have four bars of bang ba dun ga okay now to turn this into rhythmic notation simple as this you highlight your first bar and you hit the shift key click on your last bar and then hit shift alt four and now you have rhythmic notation okay simple as that now you can do this with any type of notation and you can combine notation in 
your parts too. So say in your guitar part, you don't necessarily want them to hit what's on one, but you want them to hit what's on the end of two. So this is really right here, this um, quarter note on beat two, the slash on beat two is really a quarter note without a stem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to an eighth note by coming down to our keypad and clicking eighth note and hitting R. And now you notice there's two of them there. And to turn them into rhythmic notation, we hit Shift Alt 4, we highlight the second one, and we tie it over. And now the guitar player is going to play one, two, bang. They're going to hit that end of two. So we put that there, and then we can add anything we want to that. We can, we can add a accent to that over down here. We can do whatever we like. We can make this a rest. You can see that this, maybe if I don't want them to play on beat two, I highlight that. See that it's blue, I'll make it bigger there. And you hit the rest button and now it is a rest. And now you have this hat going on. And to add, um, say, a chord symbol to it very easily, it's command K. And you say you want this to be F7. And say, and then you hit the space bar and it's gonna move you over a beat. And then you, uh, hit spacebar again it's going to get you to the next available note and say you want that to be e flat seven okay so now i have this type of thing going on where i have da, okay now if i want to repeat that i just go here simple as that now say i want to uh in the bass part have the bass be real notes so the first thing i do is i'd get rid of this i just hit delete highlight it and hit delete and then I would select my quarter note and my quarter note, uh, the dot there, and just have your F there. I go down here, I go with the E flat, I tie that over to a E flat, and now I can just hit R, and now I have that going on in the, in the bass. So now I have rhythmic notation here, I have an a, a, um, uh, accent here on a note, and then I have, um, which is a form of rhythmic uh, notation, and then I have real notes here in, in the bass, actual pitches and notes, normal notation. Now, let's say I want the drummer to hit this uh, end of two. So I have these slashes, this is going to be our bass, and we're going to use what we call layers. We're going to go down here, and if you notice on the bottom of your keypad, you have four layers, okay? I want to show you something first and you're gonna run into this problem. Say I have that that clicked. That means whatever I do next is gonna affect that blue note. So what I want to make sure I, I do is I hit escape so nothing is is affected by my next command. I want to switch into the second layer. So I'm gonna switch to the second layer and I'm gonna select my eighth note and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna drop my eighth note right there now there's a couple things you can do now you notice the rests are weird I want to move my my rest up I just highlight it and then I up arrow and put it on the top and I do that here and then I also want the step to go the stem to go up on that so I actually hit X and now the stems up and I'm gonna put a tie on that and then I'm sorry, I'm gonna flip the tie also with X. And now if you notice, now my drums have a secondary accent that I'm gonna hit the end of two. So we talked in class about how some, I, I prefer to um, have these as cue notes. So I will select all of this, including the tie and the rest, select all of that. All I did was hit command and then click on each of those elements. And then I will come over to my keypad. I'll go over to the second uh, menu, which looks like a whole rest. And over here, there's this, and I'll hit this. And now we have many little cue notes. Beautiful, right? I like it. Okay. There is another trick. Say you want the drums to play this rhythm. You can actually take this rhythm, drop it in here, and notice it's super low because it's for drums. And then in your command search, there is a a plugin called Drum Cues, and it's right here, and you select Drum Cues, and you leave all this normal, and you just hit OK, and look at that. Now I have Drum Cues, just from any written thing there. So you could have any kind of notation here. I'm just gonna create something quick in my first layer, right? 
and I'm gonna So I have that going on. I can just take that, I can hit my Alt key, drop it into the drums, and then come up here and say drum cues into the search, hit drum cues and hit okay. And look at that, I have drum cues all of a sudden. It's automatic, it did it for me. So really nice, right? Really quick. If you don't have the drum cues um, uh, plugin, and some of you might, because I'm not sure if it's it's standard in, in the, um, in the Sibelius uh, default package. If you just go to File and over here to Plugins and say Install Plugins, and it's gonna bring up this list of plugins, and you wanna switch this to All Plugins, and then you're gonna say Drum Cues, and you're gonna say Find, and then it will show you this right here, Drum Cues right there, and you wanna say Install, and it's gonna install it. I already have it installed, so it's gonna install it. See, it already says it's there. And you wanna also make sure you install the one under it, fill selection with slash notes. And install that, and that's always, for me, it's already updated. And now you can use that um, that plugin, which is makes it super easy to uh, create drum parts. It's a, it's a secret weapon uh, for creating drum parts. Now you notice I do have, um, the layout's not the greatest here. One thing you could do um, is you could move this down and move this here. And then now, now it looks a little bit better. You do have this um, four bars here and this four bars here. That works fine. The other thing you could do if you wanted this all on one page, which I wouldn't suggest, but there might be times that you do, you go to layout and then under layout there's your staff size. You can change your staff size to like five and see what that does. Oh, it put it all in one in one one page now, see? And then what I would do here, sorry, is I maybe do it in sixes. So six bars are together. So I would count for six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'd hit shift. And then I hit shift option M and that puts six bars on the top, six bars on the bottom. So there's a, uh, a quick um, way to do um, the different types of notation. Um, just remember slashes are shift alt three. Uh, sorry, shift option three. I think of all that's the that's the PC version of it. And rhythmic notation is shift option four. So if I say I wanted to turn that into rhythmic notation, which I don't want to do in the bass, remember, but if I did, I just hit shift option four. And then I could take that and remember it wants to go on that D line. And I just do that to turn it back to normal notation, shift option zero, turns it back into uh, regular notation. Now you will notice there'll be times if you do want X's, there's shift option, any of these numbers on the top do different things. So here's shift option one, turns into an X, two makes it that open note head, three is a, well, we know three is slash, we know four is rhythmic, five is another different X, Six is a diamond, seven's no note head, eight is no stem, nine is normal, but it doesn't play, and then zero is, is, is a normal note head that plays back. Now, some of these also have alternate things too, so if I hit shift alt one, and then I hit it again, that one, that then it turns into that weird note head. So all of them have different, if you hit like shift alt two a couple times, there's, I think there's a triangle in there, there's that, and then there's that triangle, shift alt two, so, but we'd want that to be normal because that's what we said we wanted in the base, all right? So we did uh, chord symbols, which is um, command K. Dynamics, command E, which stands for expression. And then we can cli right click in that. Sorry, I'm gonna do this. It's behind the playback line here. I'm gonna do this here. Say I want this to be a different dynamic. I hit command E and I have, I right click on that. And it brings up all these dynamics and say, I want this to be mezzo forte. Say, I want this to be a crescendo. I know that the crescendo is H. I can just highlight that and hit H and it will give me a crescendo. And if I wanted to extend, I just hit the space bar and now I have that going on, right? I have a mezzo forte and a crescendo and I can hit command E here and right click again in there and now I have forte and now I have dynamics that line up nicely. I can adjust those how I want. But now I have chord symbols with command K. I have expressions with command E. I know my 
alternate notation is either shift option three for slashes, shift option four for uh, rhythmic notation. And then I showed you how to use the plugin for this, or you could do it yourself manually using different layers. Um, and uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Thank you.